Good morning, everybody. <laughs> First of all, let me explain what I have on my face. This is a face mask. I think it's more for the appearance than the actual effects of the mask, but change of plans. I was going to get up early, same as yesterday, and go to Arashiyama in Kyoto. But there's a typhoon. There's a friggin' typhoon at the moment. Um, which is hitting the area today so tomorrow sorry i don't have my tripod so tomorrow it should be calmer ish and i've been debating going back to kyoto today because i went yesterday and it was raining all day non-stop morning till evening and i was soaking wet this is what my diary looks like right now I don't know if you can see it, but it's been... It was in my backpack. I had to dry it with a hairdryer. And it's peeling, and it's all gross, and uh, my shoes were soaking wet. I walked all day with uh, two feet in, a, in water-filled shoes. Oh god, this thing keeps slipping into my mouth. Mm. So today I was considering actually going back to Kyoto, but I've been talking to the... I've been talking to my Japanese, not friends, but like acquaintances from this app called Hello Talk, where it, which is a language exchange app, and um, the majority deem that it's safe, that maybe the trains, some trains won't run, uh, but that it's safe, and I looked up the weather and it said it's just going to be really rainy and maybe a little thundery, I don't know, but the winds seem okay, the worst thing is like maybe flooding in some areas, uh, but it won't be like very fun to go to Arashiyama today and I still have with today I still have three more days okay let me check okay this is today 22nd yeah there we go I have three more days and on the 26th I have to leave um, so I'm thinking that maybe today I have to stay in Osaka and I'll go find a cafe with Wi-Fi so I can uh, get up to date and do research on where I still want to go. Like really prepare my day for Arashiyama. Maybe try and repair my poor old diary here. Mm. And I guess just stay in Osaka, which kind of annoys me because I already had like half a day plus one day in Osaka. I went to Kyoto here, I went to Kyoto here. The 20th was the day I forgot my battery charger, or my phone charger cable, sorry. And um, yeah, I was kind of stranded. And today I was going to go to Arashiyama, visit the bamboo grove mainly, but is it going to be worth it, you know? I already ruined my shoes, they're still drying, they're probably not dry, I'm going to have to dry them with, my, with the uh, hair dryer that's been here, it's been provided here. And uh, I'm, I don't want to get stuck there, but that means Monday I'll probably go visit Nara. And then Arashiyama Tuesday maybe? And finish up whatever I haven't finished seeing on Wednesday. That sounds doable, it just bugs me to miss a day. And maybe on Monday, well maybe these are weekdays so it'll be less, there'll be less people. I don't know. Right now I'm thinking I'm just gonna go to Namba to the big like big old Starbucks or something and just sit down there. I'm gonna do this mask. Hope my face doesn't react to it because it kinda it doesn't smell very nice. <laughs> it smells kind of you know like the sprays you have in bathrooms. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that because I bought a whole bunch of like funny looking masks to bring back for uh, for people. Uh, okay, see you guys. So I'm not gonna leave this camera out because there's a typhoon. What the hell? Guys, I just had the scariest moment so far because I turned on my camera and it turned on, but it wouldn't film, so I could take pictures, but I couldn't film. Oh my god! 
I was so relieved. I thought I had ruined my camera because I had gone to the stupid sky deck and thought it was a closed observatory. What the actual hell. I have never taken this camera out in the rain again. At least not in typhoon rain. Right? What the hell? I was like, ah, oh, stupid sky deck. I can't believe I paid a thousand yen to go up there and it's raining and there's no notice anywhere that it's an open friggin' thing. Yeah. I can't believe that just happened. I was like, what can I do in Osaka today? Because I can't do anywhere else because there's a f***ing typhoon. Oh, there's the Os Osaka Sky Building. Uh-huh. Oh, it's my camera. Okay, now that I, I've sat down here trying to clean my camera, I can move along and show you a little bit more of the view and the building and take pictures and blah 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 blah. That's what the building looks like. And here's the center. Right there. And the interesting part is going through those two thingy bombs, and that's for free. And also the glass elevator, so if you want to go up there, you have to pay. And I don't really recommend it, it's not worth it, <laughs> unfortunately. I learned it the hard way. And this guy's is Osaka, the north part of Osaka, to be more precise. <laughs> I keep my camera and myself protected at the same time, so sorry. 